Hi, I'm Danny Sabra. Today we're going to talk about tips for urban sketching. Now you don't need a complicated set to do urban sketching. You can simply use a pencil on paper, uh, a sketchbook, whatever you have handy. Today I'm using a watercolor block of Winsor Newton watercolor paper on this tripod here. I've got a cup of water, my gouache paints, a palette, I'll go over that in a second, and this tripod stool plus a couple brushes. So it doesn't have to be anything too fancy, um, whatever works for you. And you really want it to be something that's easy to set up, easy to tear down, so that the barrier for you to start sketching is low. All right, I had some paint in the palette already, but I'm gonna focus on just using three colors today. Alizarin Crimson, Prussian Blue. I put uh, Cadmium Yellow over here because I didn't want it to contaminate, and then Permanent White. I'm also going to be using three brushes, this large uh, flat brush, this um, smaller flat brush, and then I have this um, size 10 Princeton round brush. Um, I'm really attracted to the shadows here. I love the different colors and the pops of light. This is uh, the community garden in my neighborhood, and so I wanna see if I can capture this scene in gouache. All right, so uh, I finished the sketch here. It's pretty rough, but uh, I think it just kind of blocks in the basic ideas. I decided to um, kind of crop it so that I don't have to put this stop sign in here. And uh, we'll see, mostly I want to add in lots of color and uh, try to focus on that little shed that's back there. So uh, we'll leave the eye in through the different colors and shapes and we'll see what happens. As I'm painting here, I'm trying to pop in shadows and create a sense of depth. But I want these shadows in the background here to be not as intense as the shadows that are closer here. That's going to give me a sense of depth because the things that are more faint, like this, are going to recede into the distance, whereas the things that are like much more starkly contrasted are going to be a lot darker. One of my goals here is to try to work fast and capture the essence of the scene not get too bogged down in details early on. Just trying to pop in these little indications of windows. And I'm not going to get too caught up in the details yet. Hopefully I won't get caught up in the details at all. And I feel like already you can start to see a little sense of, of light and shadow. And you're getting that sense of 3D effect. I'm going to put in some star strong darks here. One thing that can really help is to work from the background to the foreground. Once you get sort of a generalized colors washed in, that way you have a system in place and it helps you know what should I paint next. It also will help you focus on creating that sense of depth as you do your sketch. I want to keep my mi color mixture for these greens in the distant trees desaturated and that means adding some red to it. But I'm going to try to strike this balance between um, a saturated green and a color that's not very dark. So this is a very desaturated green and uh, I want to lighten it up so I can add some white into that mixture. And this will help it recede into the background, especially adding put a little bit more on the blue side. And by having it recede in the background, I'm gonna, that's going to help me create that sense of depth. So this color really looks like a gray, but when it goes on those trees, it will look green in relationship to everything else that's around it. While you're painting, make sure that you clean your palette or keep whatever source of your color is clean so that you don't mix your colors and turn everything into mud. Now here I made a mistake. I was trying to get the color of the street in, uh, in the sunlight and uh, I totally came in with the wrong color. That's okay. You can, don't be afraid to try to correct mistakes. If you put the wrong color paint down, you can wipe it off with a, a towel. If you can't, paint over it. Keep going. Don't get discouraged. Once you've blocked everything in into large shapes with large washes of color, and your biggest brush, you can switch to a smaller brush and repeat the process going from darks to light, background to foreground.
at a certain point, you gotta call it done. I, my lighting has changed, but I feel like I've captured the scene. I've spent some time outdoors. It's really been a great day. I enjoyed this sketch. You take it home and you go and you do the next one. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Go out, do something creative, do some sketching around your neighborhood. Remember, you have a voice that matters. Go be creative. I'll see you next time.